Hi, and welcome to Aaron Plays Wordle. Today I'm going to discuss letter frequency in the English language and how it can help you choose strong word guesses. Let's look at this chart I found on Wikipedia. Note that there are two columns, one drawn from analyzing letter frequency in actual written texts, and one from analyzing letter frequency in the dictionary. There are some significant and interesting differences. For our purposes, I think it makes sense to focus on those used in written texts, since those will include more commonly used words, which is what comprises the Wordle word list. My friend Carolyn astutely pointed out that T is probably overrepresented in this list because of the word the, which, not being a five-letter word, can't appear in Wordle. But I feel confident T is making the top 15 list regardless. S may also be overrepresented due to the Wordle word list not including pluralized four-letter words, but I feel confident it's also still making the top 15. Same with H, which is also in the. A better analysis, obviously, would be just to analyze the 2,315 word Wordle word list, but I have neither the list nor the capacity to do the analysis. So here are the most commonly used 15 letters in written text in English. The vowels all make it. Both the vowels and consonants are listed in frequency order. I was a little surprised W beat out G, which you'll note handily beats W in the dictionary list. W falls to near the bottom of frequency in the dictionary list. The frequency of W in text is likely accounted for by the interrogatives who, what, where, when, and why, so possibly I should have picked G instead, though I think a lot of common words start with W. Ultimately, it doesn't matter much. You can make your own choices about which list of letters to use. Now that we have the 15 most common letters, the challenge is to make three five-letter words from them that, together, use all of the letters. This turns out to be easier than it sounds. It took me just a couple of minutes to come up with several three-word groups. I'd guess 20 or so are possible. The first group I came up with was twirl, hocus, and named. Now one of your goals in your guesses, in addition to finding the letters, is to sometimes hit both the letter and the right position. For this reason, guessing something that ends in an S, like hocus, is probably a bad idea due to the peculiarity of Wordle not using plurals of four-letter words. So I found another group. I think this group is pretty strong because I think both W and S will frequently be in the first letter position when in a word. Here's another group for good measure. Now that we have a strong three-word group, let's see how it performs when playing Wordle. Actually, we're going to be playing Hello Wordle because I've already done today's Wordle. Uh, note for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to guess all three words even if I get all the letters on the first two guesses, just to show the strategy in action. So here we go. Wood. None. Ranch. Three of them. And smite. So we've picked up four of them. Unfortunately, they're all the commonest ones, which will make this a little harder to do since there's going to be more possibilities. And they're all in the wrong position, so we'll have to scramble them around a bit. We could try and eliminate more letters, but I think the importance of finding the positions of the letters would make it a better idea just to go for it. So we'll try, it's often good to focus on G, the next most common letter. So we'll try something like anger. All the previously gotten letters are in new positions, so we'll give that a try. All right, so we've got the A now. We know something about the other positions. E is going to be, have to be in the second or third position. Second doesn't seem very likely, since there's not very many words that start AE. So we're going to say that E is probably in the third position. And then N will have to be in the fourth or fifth position. And R can be in second, third, or fourth. So if R was in the second position, the word would start like that. Uh, maybe. Could be arena. Yes, it's arena. Okay, a little bit of a rough start there with the strategy, but let's just do it again. Wood, ranch, and smite. Again, we've gotten four of the more common letters. Again, I'm going to just take the G and give it a try. That's got everything in new positions. All right, we're very close. It's probably brain. I don't think any of the others work. 
Let's try another one. Wood. Nothing in wood. Ranch. Got a couple. And smite. So there we've gotten all of them, and there's basically no choice. Wood. Ranch. And smite. And again, we've got all of them. Oh, I was thinking share, but E can't be in the last position. It could be shear like that. Does that work? Yes, that works. Wood, ranch, smite. Again, this combination of words is pretty powerful. We've already got all the letters, and it's probably shunt. S H U N T. Yep. Do another one. Wood, ranch, smite. Wood, uh, ranch. Okay, this time I'm going to just go ahead and skip smite because we've already got all five letters and it's probably crawl, right? Um, all right, just for fun, we're going to switch to another one of the sets the mulch, wind, and roast set. And there we have three of them. So, I feel like odds are C in the first, maybe cello, cello, does clove work? No, because the L's in the middle, cello, yep, it's cello, uh, mulch, wind, roast, mulch, wind, roast. All right, so we didn't get that many. We did get the D in the right position. So there could be a double O, like it could be brood. Yeah. Mulch, wind, wind, roast. We got most of them. The E is not going to be in the middle, I don't think. So it's M. Oh, it's probably moose, double O. There we go. Mulch, wind, roast. Uh, so R and N, maybe grant. Yes. Mulch, wind, roast. Uh, maybe like strip. That moves everything into new positions. There's probably more possibilities than that, but yep, it's stripped. Okay, and now just to vary things, we'll try our third word combination and call it a video. Twirl, hocus, and named. All right, so we got them all from that. And what is it? Scorn, I think. Scorn. Twirl, hocus, named. R U S E S U R E and an E R S U and then something ending in E R super super twirl hocus named twirl hocus named it could be class and twirl hocus named and spoil probably spoil twirl hocus named uh, like vicar works that really the most likely thing? R I C. Yeah, let's try Vicar. Okay, let's do one last one and call it a video. Twirl. Hocus. Named. Got the N in the correct first position.
H T G's most common next thing is probably night. Okay, you can see the power of this approach. You might prefer after one or two guesses when you get a bunch of letters to just try and solve it. Maybe you can get it in three, but as you've seen, this approach very often gets you there in four. Thanks for watching and more words tomorrow.